Set to go as the Ravens get ready to match up with the Pittsburgh Steelers. Two hard-hitting blue-collar franchises. One of the better rivalries going. The Ravens and Steelers are underway. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. Good game there on first down. That run will get him seven up to the 32-yard line. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Mm. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. They hand this off to Harris, and this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. The good run on first down followed up by a not-so-good run on second down. Now let's find out if they're going to stick with the run here on third down. A lot of people would love to see some play action here. I say go with your best running play over your best blocker. But just play number three here on the opening drive, and it's an early third and one. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. It goes as a gain of nine, and it moves the chains. Now Haskins on first down. Flushed out right. He'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. 23 yards on the play. So in Raven territory now. Here's a first and 10 at the 34. Now a give. Running left is Harris. Running right through him. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 11 more on that one, and another first down. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. And all the way down inside the 5 to the 4. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big-time run, big-time pass. A one-two combination. Look pretty good. How about that? Let's see, if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. Harris is into the end zone for a Steeler touchdown. Well, first quarter, maybe too early to talk about statement drives, Charles, but that sure seemed like a statement drive right there. Well, if we're going to talk about statement drives, I think what they're saying is we're going to establish the run. They gave it to him early and often on this drive, and he wound up taking it into the end zone. Boswell good with the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. This is T.J. Logan to return it. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. Oh, 
to throw is Jackson. That'll be complete to Dobbins. And they're able to get this one across the 35. On first and 10, it's Jackson. Flush to his right. He's going deep for Brown. And that'll be caught. Touchdown, Ravens. It's Hollywood Brown. Justin Tucker for the extra point. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. Teams had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. They run the counter. It's Harris. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. So, Charles, we have reached the end here of a long season, week 18, which we don't say very often, although this is not the first week 18 that the NFL has ever seen. Not at all, and Brandon, some of the people might be a little bit too young to remember, but back in 1993, the league experimented with giving teams two open weeks for the year, and we also saw week 18 when the league was on pause for a few weeks in 2001 following the attacks on September 11th. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 25 yards there on the catch and run, and a nice milestone reached on that last throw is here late in the season. He goes over 4,000 yards passing. And he's really thrown the ball well all season long. Had some big games along the way. He's inspired his receiving core to go out and make plays for him in each and every ball game. Now a first down carry for Harris. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. Two yards the loss, second and 12. This defense is a difficult one to prepare for. One of the best in the league. They'll come at you from all angles, and they did a nice job there stopping him for a loss. Behind the chain, second and 12. Now Haskins to throw it. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 16. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And he's going to go down back at the 27-yard line. He's sacked. Yeah. 
These two teams all tied after one. Now they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. Now it's Haskins. Escaping the pressure right. That is caught by Smith-Schuster. A nice pick up there, 19 yards. And they're set up better for third. That's a good bounce back play right there after taking a sack on first down. Didn't quite get it to the marker, but now they're in a much better spot for a third and short yardage call. If you're the offensive coordinator, you like looking at that section a heck of a lot better than trying to figure out third and long. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. On third down, here's Harris. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. Give him a yard on the play, and he's definitely short. It'll be fourth down and a few inches. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. Incomplete. In any event, it happened pretty quickly. I'm not sure he made the right decision on that one. I think if he had it to do over again, he would have found a different target downfield. But he made his decision, and that one's incomplete. They'll go again from the three here on second and goal. They'll try to run with Harris. Call it a gain of two as they're knocking on the door now. Third and goal. Again, it's Harris. And he's in. Touchdown, Steelers. Najee Harris with touchdown number 23 here on the year. And the Steelers have taken the lead. Extra point put through by Boswell, and that makes the score 14 to 7. Boswell now to kick it away after the touchdown. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. set at the line for this next drive after the long touchdown drive we just saw you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offensive sales because they had it going pretty good last time too had to sit over there for a little while didn't they you know they were eager amped up to get back on the field after just scoring hoping to get the ball back quickly that didn't happen so i'd say come out just kind of get started again you know it doesn't have to be anything dramatic just get moving get loose again and see if they can get it downfield an incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Throwing is Jackson. And he's got his receiver. That's Sammy Watkins. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. A gain there of 21 yards. First and 10, 46. 
Now Jackson on first down, eluding the pressure right. He's going to fire one, corner of the end zone, and that'll be caught. Touchdown, Ravens. It's Hollywood Brown. Marquise Brown, his 25th touchdown, tying him at Smith for the fifth most in one season. And the Ravens are an extra point away from tying the football game. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and we are tied here in the second quarter. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Ray Ray McLeod to return. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Steelers take over first and 10 at their own 24 yard line. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And Charles, the way touchdowns have come so fast and furious for both sides in this thing, it's starting to feel a little bit more like maybe a tennis match in a football game. Yeah, I like your description there. Maybe we're sitting in a nice royal box watching this type of a game. But let's face it, right now, the way it's going back and forth, it's going to come down to who can get a stop. Well, these two teams met in Pittsburgh earlier in the year with the Steelers prevailing in that one. So a win here in Baltimore would give them the season sweep. They go play action now. Haskins. Pressure gets to Haskins, and down he goes. So this has been a lot like a tennis match, hasn't it? Back and forth. Both these offenses happen their way so far, so maybe the question isn't who's going to score the most points in this game. Maybe it's who's going to get some stops. Yeah, absolutely, and that sack, finally a first step in the right direction for a stop. Throw that side complete to Smith-Schuster. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. The defense shaking their heads, not aggressive enough, and they allow him to convert a third and 18. On first down, it's Haskins. Wide open receiver complete. And he is out of bounds, but not before Let's he's go. inside the 30. A reminder, once we hit halftime, as we do all season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. It was Justin Houston, the native of Statesboro, Georgia, with a sack. So, Charles, no turnovers yet for this offense, but those sacks now, they're starting to pile up. And one thing usually leads to another because they've got to figure out how the offensive line and everyone else involved in protection can keep their quarterback upright and allow him a chance to throw the ball downfield. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. Now Haskins. That ball caught by the former Toledo Rocket, Deontay Johnson. An incredible play there. They do get big yardage, but they're still stopped the yard or two short. And it's fourth down. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as he'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. I think that we all figured when he caught it that short of the marker that the defense almost relaxed and said, we got this covered. And then all of a sudden, space to run after the catch. And now they're screaming, somebody get him down. Fortunately, they got to him and forced the fourth down.
They're going on fourth down. Haskins, he's got a man open. It's Chase Claypool. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. A defensive breakdown allows a pickup of 16 on fourth down. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. They'll toss to Harris. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Now from the seven, here's second and goal. Play action. Haskins. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. One thing you hope to see out of a rookie tight end is a real concentration when the ball's in the air, and I'm not sure that he didn't, but he has to be prepared for people making a play on it when that ball's up for grabs. This has been a long drive. You gotta figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? A run with Harris out of the shotgun. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Ravens gonna use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 37 seconds to play in this first half. Can this defense hold him out? Here we go now. Fourth and goal from the two. They'll try and throw forward with Haskins. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. So a tough pill to swallow there. A would-be touchdown pass in and out of his hands on fourth. Sometimes it just comes down to execution, doesn't it? Because we're always questioning, should they go for it, should they not? Is it the right play call? Is it not? In this situation, everything was right except for the finish. You have to catch the ball and convert. Now Jackson back into his end zone. Looking deep downfield. And got his man complete. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. And that one results in 35 yards. Much more room to operate under after the big play. Here's first and 10. Off the play fake to Dobbins, here's Jackson. They'll roll him out right. Bears it out toward the corner of the end zone. And it's intercepted at the goal line. The safety Terrell Edmonds picks it. And the Steelers are in great shape here as they take over at their 46-yard line. Well, he's certainly not been afraid to take some chances downfield. Now, look, it's paid off for him a couple of times. That time, not so fortunate. And that's where I want to start, what you said. It's paid off a couple of times. So his aggressiveness has been good for his offense for the most part. So he throws an interception there. No one likes that, but I would not rein him back in. The return on investment thus far has been pretty good. Two touchdowns to one interception. Going top shot for Smith-Schuster. And this one is incomplete. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far. But on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. Final play of the half, it's Haskins. Quick slant, fighting Claypool. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. So we've hit halftime all even at 14 apiece.
as we get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. With it on the return is Logan. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. The Ravens take over first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. Jackson he'll swing this out to Dobbins and pass the 40 before he's out of bounds the Ravens get a new set of downs give him 17 on that pickup another catch for him there on this drive Brandon it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can and that time they pick up a first down so now on defense do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going now Jackson on first down he'll check this down to Dobbins out of the backfield now he's tackled a yard short of the marker good gain of nine on first down on second down a run with Dobbins and he'll be brought down at the 45 yard line two yards good enough for a first these two teams, you may recall, they didn't play each other till late in the year. Their first meeting was not too long ago, back in week 13. And it was the visitors getting the win there, so they'll be looking for the sweep back here at home. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. From the 38, Jackson. They'll find Dobbins out of the backfield. And now look at this. Big gain, but a fumble. And it's picked up by the Steelers. And that, Charles, you'd have to think, a pretty avoidable mistake. You're exactly right about that, partner, because it all comes down to covering up the football. Look, turnovers are going to happen. They're inevitable. But in a tie game in the third quarter, those turnovers can change the tide of the ball game. And now it's up to their defense to try and bail them out. Got to take care of the rock. Following the turnover, it's Haskins. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Tyus Bowser came in there hard on the blitz and got him down nine yards behind the line of scrimmage. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Another try after the first down sack. Haskins. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. Well, as we get ready for third down, let's go back and recap here. The sack on the first play of this drive, that threw a wrench in what they were trying to accomplish because they were compelled to throw the ball on second down. A running play was not in the works. And that incompletion... Set up another passing down here on third and long. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, 
you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return, and the Ravens will take over. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And a fumble last time. Ball security. Talk about it all the time in the National Football League. They've got to be better at it on this drive. Don't you think that when every team gets together for the first time, I don't care if it's OTAs, mini camps, first and first day of camp in the regular season, ball security comes up about what, the second sentence of the coach's yeah. address? And those are so many drills focus on that. All the time, and they do drills to make it even tougher to simulate game situations. Doesn't always work out, though. They'll get that one out quickly to Brown. And yeah, he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. And he's over 100 yards now after that last catch. Already, of course, leading the NFL in receiving yardage. So he's done nothing at all to hurt his cause to stay in that spot. But I've been so impressed with how he's gotten it done. Body control, route running. How about the way he competes for the football at the end of the play? By the skin of their teeth, they are able to convert on third and inches. Now it's Jackson. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Oh, that's got to frustrate him a little bit because they nearly got to him there, and it would have been the first sack of the game instead. They're able to influence the release, and they did force the incomplete pass. Throwing again on second and ten. Jackson. That ball caught. It's Mike Andrews, the tight end. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 41-yard line. 16 yards on that one, and a Raven first. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 41. From the gun, Jackson. And this is going to be pulled in by the tight end, Andrews. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Now it's Jackson. He'll dump this off, complete to Dobbins. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. It's a gain of five, and it'll make it second down. Jackson on the give to Dobbins. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. Now Jackson. Looking for Bateman. He's got him complete. And he gets the first down yardage before he's brought down just outside the 10 at the 11. One quarter remains here as the regular season starts to wind down. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Now a first and 10 at the 11. They run it for the first time with a backup Murray. And he'll get this one down to about the 10-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Brandon, we talk all the time about those hybrid players, guys who can do more than one thing. And I think if you're playing strong safety in the NFL today, you are a true hybrid. Part linebacker, part cover guy. And coming up, sticking his nose in the mess there and making a nice play defensively. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Kill, kill, kill. Turn up. Kill, kill, kill. Turn up. Hey, little, little. They go with Murray again. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Give him six yards on the carry. It's going to be third and three now. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy.
So two of two on third down conversions on this drive, and now they face a third and three here. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Quick strike out wide by Jackson. Touchdown! Mark Andrews, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Ravens have broken the tie. Tucker with the extra point. And the lead is now 21 14. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. McLeod now on the return. Pass midfield. Ray Ray McLeod. And a penalty marker's down on the field. And they might be backing up a bit here to start the drive. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Now it's Haskins. He gets it complete to Harris. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Looking to throw, Haskins. He's got a man complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That one good for 26 and a first down. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. Play action. Haskins. That swung out wide to Harris. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. They'll give him eight on the play, and that'll make this a second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. To throw again on second down, Haskins. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And into the end zone. Touchdown, Pittsburgh. Eric Ebron, his ninth touchdown of the season. And the Steelers are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. Now Jackson on first down. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Logan. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. Jackson hit, and he lost the football. A lot of bad news on that play for them, wasn't there? Lost the football, lost a lot of yardage, but I think the good news outweighs it, able to retain possession. That was big for them.
Throwing on second and long. Jackson. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Akella Witherspoon. And to the 43. So down inside the 45 to the 43-yard line. That's where they'll take over. Well, we say it often, Charles, but not all interceptions are created equally. And that is a big one here in a tie ball game in the fourth quarter. And Brandon, when games are this close, it usually comes down to the team making the fewest mistakes. And that was one of our mantras back at Tennessee. Coach Major say all the time. Oh, no, he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Ravens. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. And I believe the referee's been buzzed. Yeah, they want to take another look at this call, and it's certainly a big one here late in a tight game. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. On the give, this is Harris. And he'll take this one down to the 36. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as it'll come with an even 90 seconds remaining on the clock. else here on third down it'd be a 53 yard attempt from this spot they'll try and pick it up by running the option to the right Ravens going to use their third and final timeout as they head to the sideline and talk over what to do next Tie game, fourth quarter, and they're going for this thing on fourth down. Now it's Haskins. He'll find Smith-Schuster, that's complete. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. A big pickup of 12 yards on fourth down to keep this drive from stalling. They'll run on first down, Harris. And that's a touchdown as they've broken our tie here in the final minute of the fourth. I don't know how many more of these my heart can take, my man. I just don't know. Another big touchdown late in the game. They look like they're in control, but still, there's a chance. Block the extra point, go down and score, kick the extra point themselves. They could pull this one out. Yeah, but also on the sideline that just took the lead, you got to get your defense ready and the special teams unit for the kickoff coming up. Yeah, you're exactly right. Got to pull everyone together and make sure they're still focused and aren't already celebrating a win. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. set at the line for this next drive they're down here in a one score game but the time it's a factor but it's not a huge factor right now is it it's really not because this amount of time gives them a chance to run their offense to go through place and he can't get a throw off he's taken down what a huge play at this point in the game Here's Jackson. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. 
Okay, let's go back a little bit and see if my schooling comes to the front. What's that old saying? Those who forget the lessons of history are doomed to repeat them? That's the same guy who's gotten back-to-back -back sacks. I think a double team may be in order. Well, we saw a close game that kept us on the edge of our seats down to that final whistle. And right before that final whistle, defense with one last exclamation mark there getting the sack to end it. I love how you phrased it because we were waiting to see what would happen. Obviously, we thought something would happen downfield. Instead, it happens in the offensive backfield, and that's your ball game. So for Pittsburgh, they get that important 10th win to finish the regular season at 10 and 7. And that is maybe not exactly what they were hoping for, but a better than average season nonetheless. Meanwhile, for the Ravens, the loss could be an impactful one as they'll finish at 11 and 6 on the year. And it's going to be wait and see time as they figure out their status for the upcoming playoffs.